Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com weekend update show. Hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful start to their weekend. Hope everybody had a great week of trading and hopefully life is treating you uh, very, very kindly and that's the most important thing, health and happiness, but more and more health and happiness. So let's talk about the markets. But we first we do guys, we always want to, again, thank you for all your support uh, in following this channel. Uh, if you haven't so uh, done so, please like and support the channel. We will continue to give you uh, as much as content as humanly possible in a very organized and unbiased way. And just one little announcement before we get started. Uh, for all you guys who are planning to come aboard and taking advantage of the holiday season uh, trial sales, uh, remember, we're a week away. Uh, Kenyon Salo will be doing an amazing, amazing uh, keynote address for everybody in uh, Access to Trader. If you don't know who Kenyon Sallow is, just Google him. He's an amazing uh, life coach who um, who speaks in front of Fortune 500 companies. Um, he will give you everything that he has in getting the best out of you, right? Getting the best out of your trading, getting the best out of the fulfillment of life. So if you are uh, coming aboard, guys, again, we are a week away next Saturday. I believe it's going to be at 11 o'clock Eastern time in the webinar. It's going to be an amazing event. So if you guys are planning uh, to come aboard this holiday season, do yourself a favor and definitely come aboard uh, before the 19th. So let's talk about the market, right? Uh, unbelievable move this week, this week, right? Unbelievable move. Uh, the market, just when you thought the market was about to fall off the cliff and we reclaimed back the five-day moving average for the bears, and oh my God, the cues are the worst. How can I still underperform? Everything is terrible and blah, 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 blah. Well, it came along uh, the CPI number on Thursday. Uh, it shocked the markets to, the, to, to a third degree. If you, if, if you could imagine third degree burns uh, on the short side, well, that's what happened. And the market went uh, completely out of its mind on the CPI number. Uh, the dollar plunged, you had, um, you had bond yields plunging, but more important is the equities, right? The group that let us lower, especially the semiconductors, or just technology in general, just had an amazing, amazing run on Thursday and four and a half, five percent right out the gate. And we, you know, we lost a lot of value. And that day, just when you thought you couldn't get any more value out of the market, uh, the NASDAQ closed up seven and a half percent for the day which is absolutely amazing. And one of the, definitely one of the bigger rallies is if I could remember uh, in one day, even going back to the pandemic reversal in April of 2000, I very remember very more aggressive, no downtick days that we saw uh, on, on Thursday's session, but more important what would happen on Thursday. And again, now it seems like CPI is a, even a bigger event than everything else. It finally gave us a little bit of, of clues that, hey, maybe the Fed finally will start to lighten up uh, in the distant future. And that's exactly what happened. Everything surged uh, pretty much on that news. But for, for the bull's sake, right, we finally got what we wanted. We wanted to close above the 50-day moving average. We finally got a close above the 50-day moving average on Thursday. So all the illness, all the his all the hysterical uh, possibilities of how low can the market go and this, that, and the third changes just like that. And that's exactly what the market is. It'll drop a dime, uh, it'll, it'll drop and turn on a dime. Again, it's never gonna just tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, we're ready to reverse. It's just going to do it. And like I said, you know, going back to all the way down to, back to um, 2009, which, which was the end, right? It was totally the end of the mortgage crisis sell off and put in the generational lows. One day I woke up, I go, when the hell is this market ever going to go up again? Right after the 2007 crash. And then just like that, it was over And 2009 became uh, the generational bottom uh, all the way to the move all the way to last year. So uh, pretty impressive. And the most remember the most basic rule of technical analysis, even if this is your first year and this is your first, uh, you know, your first run in trying to um, you know, get your discipline, all that stuff gets better in time. Just remember, technical analysis works in a very, very basic form. Um, anything above the 50-day moving average is deemed bullish. Anything below the 50-day moving average 
is deemed bearish. I want to show you a very, very quick example. So here's you know, the last several months, right? So here we lost the 50 day moving average, right? We lost it on January, February, March, April, right? So we lost the 50 day moving average in April, right? That had a massive sell off, right? You see this light blue line? That's the 50 days. So we had this massive sell off for a very, very long time. So then when we finally got above the 50 day moving average, right? We finally got above the 50 day, right? We had this really, really big, right? Big, big rally for the next month and a half. And then when we lost the 50 day moving average again, right? We had the sell off here, like as we see now. So here we are, right? Here we are. And this is the most basic way to teach technical analysis. Sometimes you have to use the eyeball test. So above the 50 day bullish, below the 50 day bearish, and look what happened on Thursday, right? We got above the 50 day moving average. And if you watched uh, Thursday's videos, we said, listen, if we can confirm again, granted, uh, we could have had a chance at, at a rest day, but if we could confirm Thursday's price action, we should have a day two. And that's exactly what happened. Incredible action, as you can possibly imagine. You, you really didn't need to be uh, very creative, right? Just stick to the NASDAQ 100 names. The, the stocks that are above the 50 day, you wanna buy. Uh, the longer we continue to build above the 50 day, it's gonna be incredibly bullish. Remember, just like we said, when the market goes down, right? The market's not gonna go straight down below the 50 days. You can see you have pockets of strengths of rallying, but the overall predominant action is gonna be down, right? So you have, you have down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 and now we're above the 50 day moving average. So do I expect the market just to go up uh, now that we're above in a straight line? Absolutely not. Again, you will have days of back testing. You will have days of profit taking. But the good news is as long as the longer they build a base, and you could even have even a back test into where the 50 day got reclaimed. But the point is, especially from the uh, swing trading side, the longer we continue to build above the 50 day moving average, the higher probability the next strong move will be very, very exaggerated. And that's the most important part. If you watched uh, Thursday's video, we talked about how important uh, 284.60 was, right? That was the highest level into the supply. Friday, we got above this 284.60 level. We started to rally. Again, we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. As you can imagine, everything went up uh, as soon as the cues started confirming, but that's the whole point. You know, we know the levels, right? It's not a guessing game. Nobody's trying to trick you. You have eyeballs, right? Technical analysis is not very subjective, right? It's either going to reclaim a very big level or it's gonna get or it's gonna get stuffed. So here's a here's the level, right? The next day it got stuffed, we went lower. Here we reclaim the level and we go higher. So that's the whole point of technical analysis. The market's not trying to trick you. I'm not trying to trick you. You know, you have eyeballs. If you believe in technical analysis, you understand the, the importance of how organic moves are, are, are started, how are they confirmed, and how they finally ended into a supply. And if you, are, uh, if you are a swing trader, well, this is the market, right? This is your market that you've been waiting for. The longer we stay above the 50 day moving average, the higher probability that you, whatever your position is that's above the 50 day will go sideways, distribute, go higher, go sideways, distribute, go higher. And that's exactly what an organic bull market looks like. But here's also the caveat. We also know what happens when there is a reversal. And here is a perfect example of one, you know, day two, above the 50 day moving average while well, the CPI came and destroyed everything. But now apparently the CPI is the, the greatest thing since sliced bread. And here's where we are now. And now we are looking for at some point uh, during this week, again, this is possible it happens on Monday, uh, the next area of resistance or supply uh, that I like to call it is gonna be around this 290, uh, 292 level on the queues. But again, this area here of 284.60 was an absolute major level. We talked about it on Thursday's video, and now we are getting a very, very aggressive move uh, with the rest of the market. If you look at everything else, uh, first of all, Qs went up 8% for the week, say that out loud uh, five times, but not to be outdone, the spies did incredibly well. You had what, a six, let me just look at my notes. We had a what, 6% move on, on the spies, right? Major moves here, spies, you give them a lot of credit. They predominated this move was above the 50 day, and now we are above, what is this, the 100, the 100, was it 200 day EMA? So we have a lot of room up here. We have spies, if they can start consolidating, the next level of measured potential is this 405, 409 level. And now that we're kind of getting out of slowly but surely, we're getting out of earnings seasons and majority of the companies, even if they had the bad earnings, right? Like the Metas of the world, like the Googles, uh, the Microsofts, the, you know, uh, the, the Microsoft, the Teslas of the world, or, you know, the Amazons, the stocks that had good, you know, really bad earnings, look where they are. I mean, they're really, really starting to stretch. Microsoft, 
uh, Amazon put in a, you know, everything went up on Friday. It's, you don't have to be a genius in this market, right? It, when, when you have a runaway market that is only day two above the 50 day moving average, you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be a genius. You don't have to sit there pounding your chest on social media, talking about how intelligent you are and you can see the future. Everything's up, right? Everything's up. Everything did go up. And if as long as your stock is above the 50 day moving average, it's going to continue to move up. So again, stay humble, right? I know a lot of uh, you know, people on social media, they're all over the place. I'm the best. I'm a genius. I'm this. I'm that. Settle down. Three days ago, you were underneath the desk talking about cash as a position. Settle down, right? Be humble. Give the ball to the referee after you score a touchdown and move on. Everybody understands a bull market is different from the bear market, but you don't need to celebrate while obviously the ball is being scored over the goal line. So relax. Get a little humility in yourself. And the most important thing is I say every single day, bull market, bear market are different. Act as a, a professional. So that's it. We're set up for next week. Again, is the market going to go up straight up? Absolutely not. There's always going to be to retest and back test. But here's actually the good part. The stocks that already made their runs, right? Above the 50 day, you know, two, three, four day runs. They were a little bit extended, right? Can they still go higher? Of course. Could there still be a lot of move up? Of course. But you want to pay attention to the stocks that are moving from the bottom of the channels, like stocks that haven't had that runaway move yet. And if you look at, if you go look at your, uh, if you go look at charts this week, you're gonna see a lot of stocks that are just starting to come off the bottom channels. Let me give you guys a couple of names. Look at this docu, right? Look at docu, check this out. Look, look how tight, right? You see this whole bottom channel here? This is the first day above the 50 day moving average, right? Look what happened with the Qs. First day above the 50 day moving average, next day to confirm. So keep an eye on docu, right? If this thing's gonna mirror the Qs, well, this thing's maybe one day away, right? So if this thing can confirm uh, Friday's action, you know, you have a lot of room up. Keep an eye on something like that. Look at Roku, you know, despite it not having great earnings, it's, you know, it's the same chart, right? It's the same chart as the Qs, right? So here's the Qs, right? Here's the Qs, the first day above the 50 day moving average. Look what happened the next day, right? So look at Roku. It's a mirror image, it's exactly the same mirror image. First day above the 50 day, if it can confirm, it can go higher as well. And don't sleep on my boy. Your boy, my boy, everybody's best friend, right? Don't sleep, right? Don't sleep. We had a phenomenal, phenomenal move in the last two, three weeks to the downside. This thing is not far away. You see how it's just sitting on its linear regression line? If this thing confirms the linear regression line, this thing could see 205, 212. Again, we'll see if it confirms, but at least it's out there. And that's the whole point. It's coming uh, off a of bottom. And that's the most important part of any setup. Again, you don't want to jump off the 10th floor. You want to jump out of the first, at least. Again, if you jump off the first floor, you got a skin knee. If you jump off the 10th floor, you might have a, you know, severe, you know, severe blood trauma to your brain. So be careful where you're jumping from, not taking things that are overextended. So let's talk about Friday again. As you can imagine, you know, once the market confirmed, everything exploded, right? You know, again, you don't have to be, you know, a genius, uh, you know, genius technical analyst. Everything exploded when the queues exploded. So here it is, uh, Nvidia. Nvidia was really good. Uh, One sixty fifty rejected two times pre market. Uh, needs to build. Here is Nvidia. Just explosion, right? Explosion. Uh, almost went to sixty four. Should get to the sixty four and change level. Uh, you got AMD Monster. You know, we talked about AMD in the video on Thursday night's video. 7011 needs to build. That was the pre-market high. They got it rejected several times. Let me just show you this really quickly, right? So here's the pre-market highs right here. You see the 7011, right? At around four o'clock in the morning, 7011. And the candle here at uh, nine o'clock in the morning, right? 7011. So all it needs to do is just get above the 7011 and just absolutely exploded. Uh, into the 73s they were coming for short-term 75s on amd uh amazon was great uh 98 70 99 20 needs to build went almost to 101 amazon looks higher right so here took amazon took out this oops excuse me i knew this chart looked weird uh so amazon took out this 98 20 took out this uh, excuse me took out the 98 60 99 20 was the pre-market high and traded right to supply uh, that we talked about in the 101s. Again, this thing looks higher uh, as well. Might need a little bit of rest, but it looks higher as well. Netflix, an absolute monster. Remember we talked about this on Thursday as well. You know, 75, 50, 276 needs to build. Here was Netflix. Again, like I said, this is nothing like great call, Dan. There's nothing to do with great call. This is technical analysis and the cues confirming the 50 day moving average. It would have been very, very tough to buy something in the NASDAQ 100. Uh, throughout the morning and not get a, a price appreciation. So yeah, I mean, it looks great on paper, but you know, everything really exploded. 
So it took out the 75, 75, 50, 76, went all the way up uh, to 90, you know, to 90 and change. This thing looks higher as well. Uh, Microsoft explode. I mean, everything is one by one. 43.33 needs to build. Here was Microsoft, right? Took out the 43.33, went to 48. Uh, Tesla again, two sided pivot. 191, 180, 191 confirmed. Uh, ultimately went to 196 or so. Uh, Coinbase pre market went down to 46. I didn't trade this. Uh, and then it kind of reversed. But here again, here's the big level, right? This is the whole point. 284.60, huge level needs to build and here it is here it is this is here's your your gasoline here's your fire here's everything any anything you want to use this is what set the nasdaq off right here the channel the 1025 highs 284.60 uh it built and now we close all the way up into the 288 levels looking for a continuation of higher price this weekend again we should we should have at some point kind of a back test or a rest which will be very, very healthy. But again, as long as we continue to build over the 50-day moving average, more stocks will get pulled up and you'll get a mass uh, participation. So that's it, guys. So I, I look forward to seeing a lot of you guys uh, this week. Again, take advantage of the discounted uh, holiday trial. But more important is, again, next Saturday, guys, for all you guys who are in the building, Kenyon is going to put on a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, display. He's going to make you feel great about yourself. He's going to bring things out of you that you didn't know you had or potentially could, 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 could achieve. But more important thing is, like I said in the last video, he's going to be like a vitamin B shot to your soul. And I doubt very, very much. And I bet that you will feel a lot better for it. Guys, God bless. I love you all. I wish you all the greatest uh, of, of happiness and health. And with God's help, I'll see you all next week. Take care, everybody.